There are lots of ways that we can find the slope of a line. We can use a graph, we can use a table, we can use a um, we can use a pair of order, we can use a, pair, a couple of ordered pairs. All we need is two points to find our way between a line. When we look at a table, in the past we've done rate of change. Um, rate of change is interesting because rate of change is directly related, the, the, the term rate of change directly refers to how we find it. What we do is we find, some of you may be familiar with delta y and delta x. Well, what this delta means, it's the Greek letter delta, which is the symbol that we use for change. So the rate of change is delta y over delta x. This is called a ratio, or a rate, and it's the rate of the change in y to change of x. So it's literally the rate of changes in a table. That's where that term comes from. Now, rate of change is also the vertical change, which is y over horizontal change which is x, which when we look at a graph we call rise over run. So that's the reason why all of these things are related. Now, when we look at rate of change in a table, um, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how does my y change. So negative 19, I'm sorry, 19 minus 15 is 4. 4 minus 15 is 11. 11 minus 15 is 26. So I know, my cha I know how my y is changing. Now let's look at how my x is changing. Negative 4 plus 3 is 1, negative 1 plus 3 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. Now, when I take my change in y divided by my change in x, I get negative 15 over 3, which reduces to negative 5. Now this one was easy because every, sing every row went up or down by the same amount. So this one was kind of a no questions asked, pretty easy, straightforward table. This one's a little different though because when I look at my change in y and change in x, be really careful with your y's and x's. It's really easy to make, the, make them both look like the same thing. Um, negative 7 plus 1 is 6. Negative 6 plus 1 is 5. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Uh-oh, all of a sudden I got something different. So my alarm bells may be going off saying, uh-oh, do I actually have a constant rate of change. Well, we don't know yet because all we know is how my y's are changing. I don't know what my rate of change is until I figure out what my x's are and I put them in a ratio. So let's look at how my x's are changing. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 15 is 12. So right now I'm seeing a different change in x, but I'm going to put them into my rate of change ratio. So delta y, let's look at this first row. 1 over 3 is what I get for the first row. If I do delta y over delta x for the second row, I get 1 over 3 also. So, so far, these two are the same. When I put delta y over delta x, on the third one, I get 5 over 15, and I, my alarms go off. But if I reduce 5 over 15, it reduces to 1 third, so it's still the same. So in, the ca in this case, my slope is one third. Okay, let's look at this one down here. Zero minus two is two. Two minus one is, I'm sorry, negative three. Negative three minus four is negative seven. Oh my gosh, they're all different. All of my delta y's are different. Here, let's look at my delta x's. Negative 20 plus 10 is negative 10. Negative 10 plus five is negative five. Negative 5 plus 20 is negative 15. So all my delta x's and all my delta y's are different. But again, I'm not worried about the delta y and the delta x. I want to know how they are related to each other. Negative 2, well, let's see, delta y over delta x is negative 2 over 10, which reduces to negative 1 fifth. My second delta y over delta x is negative 1 fifth, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's look at the third one. It is negative 4 over 20, which reduces to, hey, guess what, negative 1 fifth. Since they're all the same, my slope is negative 1 fifth. Now, this last one kind of looks weird, and just, I crossed that one off, don't worry about that one. Um, it looks weird because I'm noticing that all of my y's are the same value, so I'm kind of wondering how that's going to work. How do I get from 9 to 9? What do I add? I add nothing. To get from 9 to 9? I add nothing. So my delta y over here is nothing. 
negative 4 over 0. To get from negative 4 to 0, I add 4. To get from 0 to 7, I add 7. So I'm getting a little worried here because I'm feeling like my delta y, over the, since it's going up by the same here but not here, what does this mean? Does this mean I don't have a constant rate of change? Well, let's put it in our delta y over delta x equation. Delta y is 0. Delta x is 4. 0 divided by 4 is 0 because 0 divided by anything is 0. I'm going to do the same thing here. Delta y over delta x. I get 0 over 7, which is also 0. They're the same, so my slope is 0.